Hi, everybody. This is the Live, Learn, Travel Project. Uh, we're here today with the start, our kickstart call for the World Cup. So as you know, June 12th, the World Cup began here in Brazil, and we decided, since it's a 30-day event, that we want to share with you all some of our experiences every day, some knowledge, some information about the World Cup. So to start off, we're going to talk about uh, a match that I had an opportunity to watch out of Brazil versus Croatia. And of course, it started off a little scary for Brazil because they gave away a goal. Uh, one of the Brazilians actually kicked the uh, goal into the net, and Croatia got a point. But uh, Neymar came back and scored two goals, and of course, Brazil goes on to win 3 1. So tonight we have Dave with us also, who's down in Florianopolis in the south of Brazil. So Dave, did you have an opportunity to watch any of the matches over the last uh, couple of days? Hey, how you doing, Marvin? Yeah, you know, um, just touching a little bit on uh, that game yesterday, that was a pretty good game. Um, <laughs> definitely, uh, as you said, quite a few Brazilians, they were on edge because of that first point, but uh, the game turned out pretty good, you know. Um, Neymar, he was able to do a fine job, and he really uh, helped out his team in being able to allow them to uh, gain that victory. Another game that was interesting today that I saw was um, the Netherlands and, of course, Spain. Now, when you look at uh, the team rankings, you know, Spain is number one, and Netherlands is actually number 15. But, of course, what happened today, 5-1. A 15th ranked team, the Netherlands, beat the number one ranked team, Spain, today. So that was quite shocking. Uh, the game was full of energy. Um, of course, it was in a very uh, popular city here in Brazil, uh, which is uh, Salvador. And uh, for all those who uh, haven't had a chance to visit Salvador, definitely it's a great city to visit. And we'll be talking later on more about uh, that city and things that you can do there as well. But overall, the World Cup... It's been great so far. Um, we've got some pretty good games coming up pretty soon. So look forward and make sure you tune in to uh, watching, uh, helping us to see, and watching uh, as we cover many fine points from the games to come. All right. Thank you for sharing that there with us. So what we're going to do over the next, uh, again, 30 days, we invite you to, to join with us. We're going to on our website or on our Facebook or YouTube, we're going to share something every day. So we're going to talk about predictions. In fact, we want you guys to join with us and be interactive as we talk about the predictions from the um, eight groups. Who do you predict two teams out of each group will pass on to uh, the next round? Also, who do you predict to be the top scorer? Well, right now we know that Neymar in Brazil has uh, two goals scored. Uh, also, to help you all continue to learn a little Portuguese, a little English. We're going to talk about the 32 teams that are involved in the World Cup and how do we pronounce the names of the countries in English and in Portuguese. We'll share a little trivia about the World Cup. Um, also, we're going to go to a few different places as people watch the World Cup, and we'll show you how Brazilians watch the World Cup. Um, those days when we don't have much information to share, we can share scores with you. Also. We'll show you what is it like to travel here within Brazil during a major event like this. Uh, I'll be heading back to the States for a quick visit, and so we'll get a chance to show you what it's like on the roads, uh, at the airports, some things like that. Uh, also, we'll do some interviews. We'll interview some other uh, foreigners living here in Brazil and possibly some that are coming uh, to Brazil to watch the soccer matches. And we'll share information like uh, photos, from the cities and uh, stadiums that the uh, uh, that are hosting the World Cup games. Okay, Dave, is there something else you'd like to share with our audience? You know, Marvin, one of the things I really uh, enjoy about uh, the World Cup is it allows for many people, maybe perhaps those who haven't had uh, an opportunity to really watch any soccer games, because some countries 
aren't football <laughs> or soccer countries, you know, but it seems now that everyone's starting to like football. So for those maybe perhaps if you're not into soccer, this is a good chance to for you to be able to uh, become familiar with the game. And as time goes on and as you watch some of our videos, hopefully uh, you're, you'll be able to like uh, soccer more and you'll be able to understand the game and ride the wave with Brazil <laughs> here at the World Cup in 2014. All right, excellent. Yeah, uh, as Dave is alluding to soccer or football, as they call it here, is the uh, you know biggest sport in the world. More countries uh, watch that and, and the people will participate. So we are trying to take uh, advantage of hey, the largest sporting event you know on the planet. So we're going to be sharing again our information. So what we want to do is we want to first off thank everybody for supporting us thus far, for checking our videos, for commenting, for uh, liking us, so for subscribing. What we want to do now is we want to invite you guys, those of you, who, those of you who have not signed up yet, go to our site, go lot.me. At the bottom, you'll see sign up. Please enter your email address there, so that way you can be notified as we put something out. Facebook, we're trying to build up our likes and our comments, so please go there, like us, and uh, leave a comment. Um, also, YouTube. We're trying to get more subscribers because we want to build our community because we're trying to share our knowledge and experience, but we also want to share your knowledge and experience. So please check us out on those various locations. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to having just a wonderful time over the next 30 days during the World Cup and share everybody's experiences. So, folks, until next time. Continue always to live, learn, and travel with passion.